Hello guys and welcome back to another makeup artist vlog. Today we're out and moving. Hang on while I hold the camera so it doesn't fall. This week there was a whole lot of things going on. I had at least one appointment each day. I got to do something fun earlier this week. I actually got hired by a plastic surgery place that wanted to have me come do makeup or I guess touch ups per se for their staff photos. First of all, um, the fact that they literally have a hair and makeup team come in to do their staff photos is amazing. <laughs> I feel like that is the epitome of employee benefits. I was there for a couple hours and they paid me by the hour. Yesterday, I had a photo shoot in the morning that was um, like 45 minutes out of town that I did hair and makeup for. And yeah, I think now we're all caught up. Today, I don't have any makeup jobs to do, but I promise you that the rest of the vlog will be very eventful because I have a lot of things going on this weekend still. For today, I had to work at my job this morning. Um, I had to get in a couple hours. I am now actually headed to the Art 22 Academy, which is the beauty college that I'll be going to in November to get my esthetician's license because I need to make another payment on my tuition. My regular student loans that I have not paid off, by the way, since the thing in the world happened. I don't think that they're going to get forgiven anytime soon. I don't want double student loans going on. So I'm trying to get my tuition paid off by the time I start schooling. That's my whole entire goal going through schooling. I just want to be completely debt free when I go through schooling. I'm going to do that now. Um, and then afterwards, I'm going to go see a movie, The Little Mermaid, the live action one with my mom. We're just going to have a little mother daughter day because um, I haven't seen her in like two weeks because all three of my jobs have been so, so crazy. I think a lot of people forget, but yeah, YouTube is a job too. So I do consider myself to have three different jobs that I have to balance and maintain. And I will need to stop at Sephora. I think while I'm out, I need to pick up a couple of things that I am either out of or running low on. Okay, I dropped off my payment at the Art 22 Academy. I've been going back and forth with them about trying to find my high school diploma or my high school transcripts. Guys, I graduated in 2011. Do you think I know where my high school diploma is? <laughs> Although I can't even find my college diplomas either, so I'm sure they're all in the same box. I already tried to turn in a paper copy of my high school transcripts just that I like printed out, but they need like an official signed and sealed copy. So the only way to do that is to go order it through this website and then have it mailed directly to them. So hopefully that gets there pretty soon and then they're like covered because that's the only thing that's like preventing me from having everything that I need for that school. <laughs> Anyways, I'm at Kohl's right now. Um, the Sephora is inside of the Kohl's and I'm just gonna pick up all my items right now because it's like 106 and I'm trying to meet my mom at 1.30 and it's right across from the movies. Okay, I'm back home now. As you guys can see, I have to get my Sephora stuff out of the trunk because I almost forgot it in here back in with it and then I'll show you guys what I end up getting. Um, the Little Mermaid was honestly really, really incredible. I highly recommend anybody that is a Little Mermaid fan or a Disney fan to see the live action one. Hubby! Oh. It's been such a long time since I've seen the animated version and I kind of almost forgot the plot of it. A mini Sephora haul. I ended up getting the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Toner. Then I needed more of the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I really fell on the shade Cloud a lot. Um, it's the lightest one that they carry in the line. And then the last thing that I got was the Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb. One of my favorite moisturizers because it also doubles as a primer too. If you guys haven't seen how I like depot the Too Faced concealers, I have a shorts video on it if you guys want. Go ahead. I'll cut you out, don't worry. <laughs> Just kidding, I won't. I didn't think you would. Um, I don't have any jobs tomorrow. The only thing I really have to do tomorrow is call the student loan place because I need to figure out why I can't create an account to pay back the loans eventually. Um, I need to work on editing videos because I'm severely behind on that. Until then, I'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, guys. You usually are used to me saying good morning, but it's not. It is about two o'clock in the afternoon. I have been taking the morning to just relax. I just feel like I've been way too focused on trying to work all the time. I've been in therapy sessions now for the past like four weeks. My therapist and I have just been working on me trying to take time for myself, not get so in my head all the time and not feel like I have to be productive every single day because that's very stressful. And it's a very, very high standard that nobody can achieve every single day without getting burnt out. So this morning, instead of whipping out my camera and trying to vlog, I decided to just throw everything out the window. Today, I did have to do two personal tasks. I needed to pick up contacts this morning. I got a text a couple of days ago and haven't had time to go pick them up. I finally went to go pick them up today. Got a Jimmy John sandwich when I was out because it's like right next door. Sat outside and got to enjoy the sandwich, which was really amazing. 
I had to call my student loan place ever since we've had the student loan pause. Um, I just haven't paid the student loans. I'm just not a person that's very forthcoming and giving the government my money. Since I got the loans originally, I had a provider and then I got switched to a new company. But since I still didn't pay the loans, I wasn't really concerned about logging onto that website. Well, recently there was a thing that came out if there wasn't a decision whether student loans would be forgiven or not. By June 30th, the payments would resume like 60 days after that. So of course, here's me panicked about it. And I go, okay, I need to go call my new provider, try to figure out why I can't get to their dang website. Since I've never been on there before, you have to register. They ask for your social security number and your birthday. And then you have to put in the email address that was tied to the account. Well, the only thing that has obviously stayed consistent this whole entire time is my social security number and my birthday. But my last name has changed. My phone number has changed. And then also my email address has changed too. And my address has changed. So I was on the phone with them this morning and it was a lot easier than I thought. It was under an email address that I haven't had in like 10 plus years. Like your girl did not even remember that that email address existed. And that's why I couldn't get into my account. Right now I'm going to do something kind of interesting. I have had a couple of brides now that have showed up to their makeup appointments with these lash extensions, but they do them themselves. They turned me on to the Falscara lashes. They're by Kiss. I just got the starter pack because I was not sure what to expect. It has just like your long, medium, and short lashes right here, which I don't think I'm gonna use any of the long ones. I think I'm just gonna use the medium and the short ones. It has the bond, the sealer, and then there's like an overnighter thing right here, which I don't know what that's for. And then there's a remover and then the lash applicator. Your girl's gonna try to put these on and you guys are gonna witness me either failing on camera or it's gonna be a magical experience. I have no idea. Um, step Step one, brush a light coat of Bond on natural lashes. A little goes a long way. And then all you do is apparently pluck the wisps and then put them underneath your lashes. This end is the Bond and this one is the sealer. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And I have like hooded eyes too, so I don't know how well this is gonna go. Anyways, I'm just gonna curl my lashes here. God, I'm so nervous, guys. Okay, so Bond first. Okay, I think I'm gonna do one eye at a time. Let me start off with the short ones, I think. Oh God, I'm so nervous, okay. Okay, so that took me way too long to do one eye. That is pretty much what it looks like. Dab on a thin coat of seal under wisps. The final touch eliminates the sticky residue and holds false scare wisps in place. When using the overnighter for an extended wear, apply an additional thin line under the wisp, slightly away from the wisp bands. Reapply two additional coats for maximized strength. Okay, gotcha. Okay guys, I am happy to report that these look freaking amazing. They're supposed to last up to like 10 days it says, so we'll see if that works. Okay, so now I have to assemble the touch-up kits for the wedding tomorrow. I have 10 people all together, but my assistant is helping me with five people, so five and five. Whichever one is the primary artist, that person will assemble the touch-up kits. Um, so I'm assembling all 10 of them for the secondary artist that I have. So glad to be having her help because 10 people is a lot. <laughs> That's pretty much about it. So I'm just gonna overlay some music here and let's get on to it. Eruption. Hubby got home, we chatted for a little bit, and then I finished up the touch-up kits, played with my dogs outside. I think I'm gonna wrap up for today, and then I will go ahead and just talk to you guys tomorrow. I don't actually have to be at this venue until 9.45, guys. That's a really late start to a wedding, I feel like. Usually the start times are like between 6 and 7 a.m., and then we're getting done at 1.45. We have successfully woken up with eyelashes still intact, although I think I messed up on this eye, um, because this one is like not glued, completely attached to my baby lashes. The thing that irritates me about having any sort of lash extensions like this is that you pretty much can't rub your eyes or anything. I have a wedding that I have to be to at 9.45 today. The venue is about a half hour away from me, so not bad at all. I've been there before, um, so I gotta get myself ready. Since I have lashes on, I really don't need to do it that much with my eyes, which is nice, and I'll probably just do face makeup. Dressed and ready to go here. I have on this shirt that I did the old-fashioned little tie thing on, some jeans, and I'm going to eventually have some sandals on here. I have my bag, my brush belt is right here, then I have
have my camera sitting right over there. That's pretty much it, um, and I'm gonna head out to go. Okay, guys, I'm on the road now. I want to announce that this is the first time in a really freaking long time that I haven't had some sort of anxiety or feel like I was gonna have a panic attack right before a wedding, and I think that therapy has honestly been helping me just because I've been in like a better mental headspace. I think it also definitely stems from the fact that there's less people and then I also have an assistant helping me. It's like not so much pressure on me. It's super weird just like how your mental headspace can affect literally everything about your life and how you function. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground
about you. I wish you were mine. Oh my gosh, guys, the wedding went so, so well. Everybody loved their makeup. The bride was so incredibly sweet. The mom especially, like, almost cried after I got done with her makeup. I think that my camera cut off, like, halfway through her application, which I don't love. Oh, also, I'm gonna <laughs> tell you guys something really freaking funny. This uh, venue is called Cruise Plaza, and it's where a ton of car conventions take place. So they're actually having one right now, which I'll insert a whole bunch of clips for you guys, because um, they do, like, silent auctions for cars, but then they're also doing a car show. They have this whole entire hangar where they put the cars in. This building is so huge that I didn't realize that there was like two different weddings going on today in the same area. I want to say that there's probably been about five weddings at least that I've done at this venue and I've only ever gone into like this one bridal suite. Well, I walk into the bridal suite today and I was like, hey guys, how's it going? And I noticed there's a whole entire like hair and makeup team like already there. I didn't recognize anybody and the person dressed in a white robe was not the correct bride. <laughs> so the bride's like, oh, are you looking for um, Claire's wedding? And I said, yeah. And so she's like, they're getting married on the other side of the venue. She was like, actually, let me just show you where to go. So I was like, you don't have to take the time like out of your day to like show me, you know, where to go or whatnot. And she's like, oh no, I'm not doing hair and makeup until later. So this bride from the other wedding was nice enough to show me like where to go and I mean we walked to like the other side of the venue which I swear is at least like a quarter of a mile and I discovered an entirely new area of the venue that I didn't even know existed so yeah um that is pretty much what I happened upon this morning and it was like a really freaking awkward experience but it's fine I probably won't film myself like cleaning up my kit even though you guys like that sort of content, I kind of just want to like spend the rest of the day for myself. <laughs> I'm trying to create this happy balance in between me having time for myself and not worried about just filming my whole entire life. Because if you start filming everything and like have to constantly be whipping up the camera all the time, you can't really like enjoy the little moments. There's several of my other vlogs that I've actually in depth um, discussed like how I sanitize everything. I'm gonna stop rambling here, get home and I will just talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Hey guys, it is Sunday morning and I have two appointments. I have a photo shoot makeup this morning, clients coming to my house, and then I have a model call a little bit later. But yeah, I decided to actually get full glam because like I never get glam anymore. <laughs> right now I'm actually in the process of heading to Walgreens. I gotta grab more mascara. I completely ran out yesterday with like both tubes of mascara that I had. So I have to pick up more waterproof mascara because I have none in my kit. I also need to grab an ear cleaning solution because your girl's ears has just been clogged up with like ear wax as gross as that sounds and I refuse to go to an actual doctor for that. I'm getting to the point right now where they're so clogged up that like my ears are echoing with each other and I can't deal with this anymore. So yeah, currently heading out. <sighs> I'm just so glad that I don't have like very many other things. Today's appointments at least are all at my house so I don't even have to travel around which is nice. I like to take my time with model calls. I usually do like two hour sessions. I just have no idea what I want to post for like actual content. That's the only thing. Like I suck at coming up with content. I think all makeup artists probably struggle with that though. I'm not gonna lie. Can I just rant about this really quickly? Social media is where you do all of your advertising and a lot of makeup artists always struggle with posting content because they're busy but it's dumb because then from an outside perspective it looks like we aren't busy because we're not posting work on the regular. It's like not all of us are influencers and just post pictures of ourselves all day and I mean I understand that, that is their job you know to a certain extent because they're doing like brand deals and sponsorships but at the same time though it's like we do a different kind of work and I'm just like struggling with it you know what I mean okay well I'm here at Walgreens I'm gonna go ahead and go in and then pick up uh, the mascara and the hopefully ear cleaner Okay, back home. I need to let my dogs outside really quick because my one dog's about to have a heart attack, I swear. So I successfully got all of my stuff that I needed. So I have two different mascaras that I bought um, because I need one in my kit and then one as a backup. And then I also got this really sophisticated ear cleaning kit that was definitely like $40, so I'm hoping that it works. This is the earwax cleaning kit. I got my L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascaras in blackest black and the waterproof version. I don't ever play around with non-waterproof mascara, by the way. I always have waterproof. I'm gonna get this open, then my kit. Okay, now I have to light all the candles in my house because I have a client coming over here pretty soon. Um, I have about like a half hour before she comes. It's not super bright outside, so I might need my lights on in here. I'm not really sure. Mm, dogs, dogs, they know something's happening. I got my chair out of the corner. Go ahead and get set up here.
Okay, this is what we're looking like as far as the station setup goes. I'm gonna eventually be doing like an in-depth what's in my freelance makeup kit for 2023, but um, I have not gotten around to it quite yet just because I've had so many freaking vlogs to edit. Any organizational stuff though that you see on my station is most likely from Amazon, but I'll just go over, I guess, like the most asked questions of where I get things. This is the Relevel backpack. I got this from Amazon. Um, so all the little containers, they're the polypropylene containers inside of here. Um, all of these came from a set off of Amazon and these are like pencil holders. I know that Muji sells similar ones and you can actually get them like individually, not just in sets. And this is a customizable bronzer and blush palette that I made. Um, like all of these are Huda Beauty glowish powders right here. And then I have the NARS Rising Star Cheek palette in this Dior highlight palette. This is the new Makeup by Mario palette that I got. Um, I just caved guys and bought the Master Mattes palette. <laughs> this is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension palette. It's the first one, not the second one. Although I really want the second one too, because it's the more the rose gold kind of colors. And then this is actually a um, brush holder from Makeup Forever. It's the Danny's pouch, that's what it's called. You separate it and then use dog poo bags to convert one side into a mini trash can. So I have a place to put my trash and I don't have to worry about it just like sitting all over my station and looking messy. The other alternative for trash cans is the car pop-up trash cans. I've seen artists carry around those before. Silicone mat is from Amazon as well. Um, all the Amazon things are linked to my Amazon storefront in the description of my videos. This is the big brush buddy and the brush buddy base from my Kitco. This mirror, I get tons of questions about. I actually got this mirror. It came with the last makeup case that I have and I cannot buy this separately. And this is actually a camping chair here. I bring it every once in a while with me if I don't have seating, uh, but I really don't like to haul it around because it is kind of bulky. King Camp did discontinue this specific chair. I got it off of Amazon originally. So my Amazon links are linked to like the newer version of this. That is how the setup looks here. And then I'm just gonna wait for my client to get here. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around. But there's something about you. Okay guys, I'm done with the model call and it went really well. Can we talk about the fact that my model literally had the most perfect skin in the world? Also, I am at the point where I'm kind of exhausted. I was trying to have a full-fledged conversation with this model and I could not English. My brain's not functioning. I don't know if it's because I haven't eaten in a while or what's going on, but it's just not happening today. So if you guys did enjoy the vlog, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up on it, as well as also subscribing down to my channel. And as always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.